Hey everybody, I am the Maple Man, I am Canadian, middle-aged, and I love playing Sims 4. First of all, welcome to my page and welcome to uh, part one of what I'm calling the Invasion Challenge. Uh, what this is about is we have four main characters. Uh, they're all aliens. Uh, they came from a dying planet. They came to Earth to learn about uh, humanity and they have goals and tasks they have to accomplish while they're here. Uh, the only problem is their rocket ship actually crashed here. So part of this is them figure out how to get back home as well. Um, I'm very excited about this. Uh, I even decided to wear, uh, I don't have an invasion shirt, but I have a revolution shirt. So I figured that's close enough. <laughs> get in the spirit of it. Um, just so you know, I have pre-recorded uh, the first few parts uh, of this gameplay. Um, so if you have comments or suggestions or, or anything you'd like to say, of, which I definitely encourage, I would just suggest you get to the most current part and leave any comments or questions there. And I will definitely try to read as many as I can, incorporate any ideas into the gameplay. But please, please no spoilers. Let's, let's do this together. Um, and just so you know, I tend to talk a lot. So you're probably going to learn a little bit about me along the way, too. So that's just a bit of fair warning. Um, that's about it. That's kind of all I wanted to tell or let you know in the intro, uh, get into more details about the challenge, obviously in the gameplay. Um, so peace and love, everybody. Let's play. So let me introduce you to our uh, band of benevolent aliens. Um, so they've crash landed on Earth. Uh, their mission was to come to Earth and learn about humanity because their planet is dying. And um, the problem was their, their spaceship crashed. So they're kind of stuck here for a bit. Um, this is sort of their leader. His name is Xylo, Xylophone. And the reason for this name is our aliens didn't know that much about humans, so names sort of escaped them. They did the best they could. So this is Xylo. He's sort of the leader of the pack. Um, his goals in this game are, at the, well, the end result is for him to build a rocket ship so that they can all eventually get back. Like I said, their planet's dying, but they're just on uh, a mission to Earth for right now. Uh, maybe later they'll come back. We'll see. Um, this is Zylo. I'm not going to go through the outfits for each of the characters because there are four of them and I do want to get it into the gameplay. Um, what I've given him though is I've given him, I've made him a renaissance simp. So he has to go through uh, three different careers and reach level three of each. The last one of course will be the astronaut career because we want him to be able to build that rocket ship and the astronaut career does it. I think he can do it other ways, but this is the way we're going to play uh, for Xylo. Plus, it gives us time to get all the other characters up on their uh, separate goals and tasks. So with the Renaissance Sim aspiration, he also be is a quick learner. Now, to balance that out, I decided to make him a perfectionist. Um, apparently this slows down progress on certain things, um, so I thought this was a good balance. I didn't want him to start building a rocket ship and it be done in like 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> we want him, to, well, we want it to be a bit of work. Um, I've also made him ambitious and self-assured. Good qualities for a leader. So this is him in his alien form, and I'll just show you him in his human disguise. Most of the time, I think they're going to be in their human disguises, um, just because they're going to be interacting with a lot of people, and we don't really want people to know that they are aliens. So this is Zylo. Um, very happy with him. I think he's going to be a great leader for the rest of the team. And, well, let's get into the rest of the team here. Our second benevolent alien is Egg, Eggplant. Um, that's the name he chose. What else can we say about it? He is going to be our um, charismatic alien. What I mean by that is he's going to go out into the world and meet uh as many people as he can to help um, move forward the alien cause, to get sympathy for the alien cause. 
Um, so for that, I gave him the friend of the world aspiration um, to help him along with that, which makes him gregarious. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but I think it just helps him with his charisma and, uh, you know, making friends with uh, people quicker. Um, I'm not entirely sure, though. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, I made him outgoing. Obviously, he needs that trait to... Uh, to really uh, move his goal forward. I made him a bro. I thought that would be great. And I've made him cheerful. So he is um, a green alien. Um, I tried to make them all different colors. <gasps> Xylo was purple. Egg is green. And here he is in his human form, what he looks like. So, or his human disguise. Our third character is uh, Octo. Octopus, and well, first right off the bat, she is a lovely light blue. <laughs> she is um, the character. Her goal is to um, procreate <laughs> the world, um, add little hybrid aliens, half human, half alien, uh, to the Sims world. Um, so she's going to have to meet a lot of people as well. Um, so uh, I've given her the big happy family trait. She's not evil. She does care about the children she's going to be bringing into uh, the world. Um, but it's just, it's her goal. Um, with the big happy family aspiration, she is also domestic. Obviously, I've made her family oriented, cheerful, and a bit of a romantic. Um, I think those qualities, those traits are really going to help her out with her goal and we'll see where it goes. So obviously in this game, there will be children and toddlers and teens uh, along with whoever else comes along for this ride. Um, so Octo in her human disguise is still pretty cute. So that is Octo. I think I've explained everything about her. Um, yeah, and we'll uh, we'll get her meeting some gentlemen and making some hybrid human alien babies. Our final character is Nickel, Nickel Dime. I will end up calling her Nicole. I just I know this right off the bat. Their names might change a little <laughs> as I go through the gameplay, um, but that's just gonna be the way it is. So Nicole is like this pure crystal white color. Um, which I'd, I'd never actually seen before. I think I must have missed it um, when I played on my game console this, uh, this uh, gameplay. Um, what I want her to be able to do, what her main goal is to learn about human technology, economics, um, those types of, of human, uh, what do you call them, human traits? Um, I don't know. But that, those are the things she's going to be looking into. I might at some point make her a politician. So I've given her some traits for that too. But right off the bat, I just want her to start hacking systems, uh, learning about technology, learning about economics. So obviously, I've given her the computer whiz aspiration, which makes her a quick learner as well. Um, I made her a genius, a bookworm, and I've given her the outgoing trait, which... You know, I might make her a politician or egg or whatever. I think that's going to be important in the game for one of the characters to do that. But, of course, we'll see how it goes. So, this is our band of merry aliens. Oh, one last thing. That is what Nicole, Nicole, Nicole <laughs> looks like in her human disguise. So, this is our band of benign, merry, <laughs> happy aliens. Um... So yeah, let's go into the gameplay. So I have moved our alien family into uh, a new home. Oh, they're all go going inside right away. <laughs> I'm going to show you this. I'll let them do their own thing. Oh, why is the roof up? There we go. It is uh, a variation of Crick Cabana. Crick Cabana is my least favorite lot uh, but I tend to have to use it because, well, they only have so much money to begin with. Um, but I do want to show you the modifications. Um, I'm going to get have to get these guys changed out of, uh, or changed into their human disguises soon because we know the welcome wagon is coming. Um, but I do want to show you around a little bit. And if the welcome wagon doesn't come right away, 
we'll get them working on on things that help their goals so uh, first off I made a couple of extra bedrooms nothing fancy obviously I really do need to learn more about making things look nice but that'll come so I've given uh, Zylo and egg uh, separate little bedrooms for the guys and the girls are going to share a bedroom over here I'm giving um, Octo the larger bed because she's gonna have some romance uh, a few times and Nicole uh, has this one little bed right by the computer because she's gonna be on the computer a lot so what I should do real quick is just give them assign their beds oh assign that one to Zylo Assign this one to Egg. I'm just going to do this real quick. Sorry, guys. Assign the left side of bed to Octo. And assign this bed to Nicole. Now, before the welcome wagon gets here, I'm going to get them to start doing things. I want Octo. She is domestic. She's talking to Zylo, but let's get her cooking something for the gang. Maybe some grilled cheese. I'll do party size because uh, if the welcome wagon comes over soon, people will start eating. And then they'll have some food, other than the nasty fruit cake. So, how do I? Oh, there. Get egg disguised. Oh, Nicole, where are you? There we go. Why don't you disguise yourself? And Zylo, you can disguise yourself too. See, I'm a little far from everybody here. Okay, Octo will have to finish cooking before we disguise ourselves, so we can't let people in. What is this? Disguise self. There you go. Okay, I want Nicole to go on the computer right away. Let's get her. Uh, I think you have to program a bit first. She is a bookworm, so she went and grabbed a book. I think we have to get her programming. Oh, practice programming. To, um, to start being able to hack and stuff. Now, oh, I didn't give them jobs either. Zylo, give him a career real quick here. Uh, job. Where's jobs? Find an odd job. That's different. I don't know what that came with. Okay, so. Grisham, we'll leave the grilled cheese out. Oh, shoot. Okay. What I want to give Zylo is a scientist career. I know it's one of those get to work ones. We're probably not going to do any of the get to work. Um, Gameplays, um, well, because it takes away from everything else. He has to have two breakthroughs to. Oh shoot! Welcome wagons here. Sorry, lost my train of thought. Octo, disguise yourself before people come in. Stop talking. All right, Zylo, let's invite. Who's this? Invite the neighbors in. I don't know who this is. That's a different looking town. Townsie? Townie? Townsie? Why can't you go there? Invite the neighbors in. He can't go there. What's the problem? Alright. Why don't you invite the neighbors in? Okay, the only person I have doing anything is Nicole. That's okay. Okay, why? Is the door locked or something? Oh no, people are coming in. Oh, he brought the fruitcake. Who is he? Pancakes. Okay, I know he's married to Eliza, so... No real potentials for Octo to meet... Uh, why is she uncomfortable? To meet um, a cheap fridge smell. <laughs> that made her uncomfortable. Okay, but Egg... You need to talk to people and make them. Funny introduction. Greet the new neighbor. Okay, I will leave Nickel programming there. Everybody's uh, needs are fine. Okay. Oh, Zylo's having a great old time, just laughing away. Good stuff. But Egg, you're the one who needs to really... Uh, okay, you are being confident. You're the one who really needs to meet these people and talk to them. That was a crazy scheme. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, and there was a ghost. Oh, he's entertaining the group. He looks kind of evil right now. <laughs> okay, that's a little loud. We're going to back up a little bit. 
Okay, she's just putting her plate on the ground and uh, watching TV. Oh, someone didn't like something over here. Oh, no! They don't like him. Why not? It's an awkward conversation. They don't like the... Uh, oh, no! <laughs> My friend of the world is not making any friends! He might be trying too hard. Uh, tell an unbelievable story uh, then. Oh, he just why? Why don't they like it? My, my friendly aliens. This is weird. Okay, there was a bat. It started with a bat, and then a basketball. All right, this sounds like a really interesting story. And a robot. Oh, Nickel already reached programming level two. Finally, okay. She's, she's telling a story about a football. That's good. Oh, what's going on over here? Okay, they're being nice and friendly. What the heck? Don't brain drain anybody now. At least it was only egg, but you, you're trying to hide the fact that you're aliens. Um, okay, Nicole, you reached level two. Why don't you invite everybody? to have yeah, some no. grilled cheese ah. and get into the party. Ah. Ah. Oh! Why are you mad, Silo? Every oh, everybody's got grabbing grilled cheese. Oh, that's good. Eliza has discovered that Octopus is an alien. <gasps> no, we don't want that. Why? We're trying to be inconspicuous here. Oh, well. Well, they don't seem too annoyed by it or too scared. That's good. All right. Oh, everybody just went quiet while they eat. That's good. Hope you like the fruit cake. It's a family heirloom. Oh, dear. How old is it? I don't think anybody should eat that. Okay, while they're eating, I'm just going to scan out and show you a bit of the neighborhood. So... I did make, a, like I said, a variation of Crick Cabana. It's not where the original Crick Cabana is, but it is in a part of Willow Creek. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll move to this house at some point. That I, I've played that house, uh, a family in that house before, and it, I really like it. Oh, Zylo's getting an idea. What is that called again? Oh, an ins inspiration? Mm. Breakthrough, breakthrough. You know what he should do? Oh. <laughs> he had a piece of the fruitcake, did not like it. Uh, okay, everybody's chatting. Just a standard welcome wagon. I think Zylo should read a book, because that helps. Oh, Crisis Barn, that works. That helps with uh, getting those breakthroughs. He only needs a couple. And as you can see, we're going to need some uh, cash. So they need to uh, make money at their jobs. Oh, speaking of which, let's give Nicole a job. Because I do want two of them working, but my two uh, characters, Egg and Octo, who need to go out and meet people a lot, I'm not going to have them working. Just Nicole and Zylo. Okay, are you going to call to get a job? Okay. Um, wait a minute. What's he? Oh, uh, I am going to, uh, there's tech guru. I mean, that just makes sense with what I want her to do. So we're going to give her the tech guru career. Boom, done. Make in $31 an hour. That's going to help. What are you doing? Um, going through our garbage. And leaving a mess. Oh, Zylo already had a breakthrough. That's fantastic. She's... What is she... What? Oh, she's embarrassed. Oh, because Eliza found out she was an alien. All right. She looks annoyed. Oh, you're bored. Okay, this is not the most exciting... <laughs> <laughs> Not the most exciting <laughs> welcome wagon. <laughs> well, my aliens are bored. They're embarrassed. Uh, this guy's just decided, Bob has decided to take a bath. Just make yourself at home there, buddy. <laughs> um, okay, Egg, you got to meet people. Make friends, make friends. Uh, ask about the food. Did you like the grilled cheese? 
Oh, For my friendly guy, he does kind of look him? evil. Oh, there we go. Oh, He's kind of friendly What's looking. Up, Something with his eyes just looks a little more, evil. Huh? Did you have a nice Hello, bath, Bob? <laughs> okay. Oh, Is this almost Laura? over? Apple. It's almost over. Good. <laughs> And it's Sunday 3 in the afternoon. So I think what we're going to do next is um, to keep their uh, skills and aspirations going and learning about uh, human civilization. I'm going to... Oh, Zylo already had his second breakthrough. Sorry, I keep getting sidetracked with the actual game. <laughs> so what they're going to do to learn more about the human... Uh, Race and to expand on their skills and traits is I'm going to get send them to the library. Not many of my game plays have, you know, a part where they should go to a library, but uh, I think in this case it works. Oh, uh, Bob's getting angry over the grilled cheese. Okay, uh, Bob is quite the character, um, but they're all leaving now. Rocket ship? Does he know? Does he know? He went through their garbage, he took a bath, he complained about the grilled cheese, and he started thinking about a rocket ship. Ooh, Bob might know. He might know. Okay, why is everybody uncomfortable? He's uncomfortable from eating the fruitcake. She's uncomfortable from a bad aftertaste. Oh, it's probably her, her own cooking. <laughs> okay, so let's not waste any time. Let's get, where did Egg go? I just want to see what he's doing. Oh, he cleaned up. Good stuff. At least my characters know what they're doing. These townsies seem to be just a disaster. Okay, so let's get them doing stuff right away. Uh, let's get Nicole, who's bored, on a computer. Let's get her doing more programming. Oh, she can hack already. Uh, let's get her programming skill up first. Xylo needs more breakthroughs so let's keep reading well he doesn't really need any more breakthroughs oh what's here charisma comedy uh let's do the fallen piano one um okay you want to use a portable computer instead i'm gonna get you reading a charisma book there you go an octo I just want you to, if there are any eligible bachelors around, to start talking them up. Oh, and you are flirty. Where are you? Why are you all the way over here? What are you doing? Oh, somehow you got a laptop. Okay, but we're not doing that right now. Wow, you, wow, how fast did you move? All right. Oh, 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 who's this? He's on the other side of town. Wait. Oh, he's a young adult. Okay. Go right, right to it. Right to it. So, where is she? Everyone's doing something. I think their needs are okay. Uh, okay. Oh, you run. You run. Okay. How did you get all the way over there in like 10 seconds? Did you teleport? Are you able to teleport as your as an alien? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, there he is. Okay. Hey. Oh, he's kind of cool looking. Oh, right off the bat. Come say bye. Okay. Oh, oh, he was into Come it. Okay. Um, Meshka. Get to know. Uh, do, 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 do an impression. Let's be funny and discuss interests. And then we'll see what everybody else is up to. Okay. Let's keep this going. Okay. Discuss interests. There we go. Now, how's Nicole doing? She's still bored. Oh, no, she's happy now. She's practicing programming. She still looks bored, though. She'd rather be playing a game. I think, actually, I think it's part of her job. <gasps> okay. Part of her job says she has to. Sorry, I lost my mouse there for a second. She has to play video games. So let's do that. I would love a job where I have to play video games. 
egg is how it, how's egg doing he's confident um okay i'm just gonna let him read let him brush up on charisma and oh 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 you need to use the wa use the washroom hey octo uh you let him go you'd rather be on the computer doing what browsing the web fantastic I don't think she's taking her mission very seriously here. Oh, you know what? Why don't you use the washroom too? There you go. Let's get everybody's needs set. These two are okay. I wonder if... Oh, it's like 6.20. Nobody's really hungry, though. Well, I guess they ate a ton at the welcome wagon. Okay. I'm not really seeing a ton. Oh, there's some people here. Oh, he's still here. Okay, stop that. Let's make a joke. Give him a heartfelt compliment. This is going well. Going well. And then, egg. Okay, stop reading now. Let's meet some people. Friendly introduction. Friendly introduction. Yes, yes. Oh, well, okay. These two are getting along well. That's great. Okay. So they're set. Now, what is what is Zylo doing? Nothing. Where is he? Oh, he's just standing there. Are you frozen? Your needs are fine. Nicole, where are you? Okay, you're both on the computers. No, you're going somewhere to use your laptop. Oh, hey, who's over here? Oh, we got people... Everybody's on their laptop these days. Okay. Oh, there's some hot dogs here. Is anybody hungry? No, oh, everybody looks fine for food. Well, let's just get an idea. I mean, if they're kind of hungry, might as well fill up on that. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to get them all to grab a survey. There we go. Let's see if they will do that. Oh, she's back on the computer. <laughs> oh, but he's chatting her. He likes her. And he likes grilled cheese. And that's what she made. Do you like poor quality grilled cheese? And pillow fights. Okay, he's a winner. And they're all going to have hot dogs. So let's go back to Nicole. And they're going to chat with her. She was at the welcome wagon. So she's kind of a friend. Daniela? Oh, look at this lovely setting to have a hot dog. Did everyone get one? Are they here? Hey, what's taking so long? There they are. Okay, we'll watch the people going by. Watch the people going by for a little bit. Who's this? Who is this? Oh, did we steal his hot dogs? I think so. Okay, well let's get to know him. I need my uh, friendly introduction. Egg, you can do a friendly introduction. Who is this person? <laughs> Luciano O'Connell. Wow, Italian and Irish. That's interesting. Okay, Octo, you're right in there. Bam. Give him a heartfelt compliment. How about you get to know him too? Can't get to know him. Uh, discuss interests then. All right. Okay, I hear Nicole chatting with somebody over here. Okay, so I'm going to let them eat, and then I think what better place to meet people than a bar. Oh! Alright, he seems to be... Oh, hey, they like... They're going to be friends. I can see that right off the bat. How do they already know each other? Hmm. Okay. Is anybody else coming? People are still eating. Where did Zylo go? Losing track. Oh, he just wants to be on his computer, but all the way back at the library. Okay. Oh, we lost Luciana. Okay. Everybody seems to like this guy. What, what's his name? Akira. I should know that because he is a townie and I've seen him a little around a little bit. Everybody's full. I think everybody's done eating, so I think what better place to go now at 9 o'clock on a Sunday? They've had a busy day, but let's go have a drink. Let's see if 
they want to have a quick drink because I think that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Absolutely. So we didn't go too far. I actually like the Blue Velvet nightclub. It's got piano and people dance and there's a bar. I think it's a great place for them to meet a few of the neighbors, a bit more of the human race. Oh, okay. Octo, give Baranga. him a funny introduction. And Zylo, you're the leader. Wah. Oh, everyone's getting <laughs> tired. Okay, so this is going to be quick. Let's order... Can you not order a drink for the group? <gasps> order drinks for the group. Uh, oh, we don't have much money. What's the cheapest thing here? Sweet and spicy. That'll work. That'll work. I think they've met her already. Clara Bjornsson? Maybe not. Oh, look at all the people already. This is good. Okay, why is no one coming? Oh, she's chatting. That's fine. Okay, everybody's coming to get a drink. Excellent. Okay, let's get a better angle on this. So we can, everybody's just here. That's good. Uh, where's Nicole going? Uh, Nicole. Oh, she's right there. Okay. Octo, though, you should meet this gentleman. Friendly introduction. Egg, you could meet Clara. Apparently, Egg and Octo are very close. Like, connected. Okay. Oh, it's getting dark. It's getting late. It's 10 o'clock. Nobody has their drink yet, though. Oh, hello. My name is Egg. That's okay. His name is Goth, so they've got nothing to, nothing to judge here. Okay. Hey, they're getting their drinks. That's a good thing. Ah, uh, friend of the world. Oh, how's Egg doing with this? He's met six people. He's introduced himself to six people already. So let's keep this going. Introduce yourself to him. Introduce yourself to her. Introdu oh, look at them all coming in. Wow, it's getting loud, actually. <laughs> oh, apparently they already know each other. Introduce yourself to her. Okay. Octo, why don't you meet him? He could be a potential suitor. Oh, your buddy's back. Luciano. He disappeared on his own. Look at all the people. This is quite the happy hour. Sunday at 11 p.m. All right. Well, you know, I I think we're going to end the day here, everybody. Um, they're meeting a lot of people. This is great. It's a good start. Uh, I believe one of them, either Zyla or Nicole, will start working tomorrow. Um, or at least one of them will, if not both of them. So I hope you enjoyed part one. They're all settled in. You get a feeling for our nice band of aliens. And I'm excited for part two. So thank you for watching, everybody. Peace and love. Him now.